Hello guys and welcome back on my channel. Today I'm going to show you an alternative way to flash your flight controller software onto a flight controller which requires to be in the DFU mode. I came across this alternative because I couldn't select the DFU mode for my F3 and F4 boards in race flight, beta flight or clean flight even though I have installed the correct drivers and used the Zadig tool as described in many descriptions in the web. The method I figured out does not require any additional software and you don't need to short the bootloader pins with tweezers or by soldering. And you don't need the Zadig tool at all, so that's quite nice. However, I expect that you have already installed the correct ST microelectronics drivers of your flight controller. So here I'm having a 4 Ravo clone and I want to flash the latest version of Race Flight. Um, the same procedure I'm going to show is working for beta flight and clean flight as well. So first of all I connect my flight controller with the computer. This is what I'm doing now. And when you connect it, you should hear the standard Windows sound when a USB device is connected to your computer. And a new device should appear here under your COM ports. And as you can see here, my Raver board is connected to COM port 16. Um, now we need to bring the flight controller into the DFU mode. How to do this? The easiest way is to open Race Flight, Beta Flight or Clean Flight, and first load the firmware. In Race Flight, you need to do this manually, where in Beta Flight or Clean Flight, you can do this automatically by clicking this uh, Create Out button over here. For my Ravu board, I already have downloaded the hex file, but I will put the individual links of Race Flight, Beta Flight, and Clean Flight into the description below this video. So you can download your hex file from there. Then we open it. And then we simply say flash firmware. And now you should hear again the Windows sound. And now in the device manager, you can see under USB controller that your device is in DFU mode. So this is what is shown here, STM device in DFU mode. If this does not work, you can simply right click on this and can uninstall and reinstall the driver of your board in the device manager and then your flight controller should automatically go into the DFU mode. Um, well, the next step is to go into the ST microelectronics folder. Um, that's the driver of your flight controller. Then you go to software DFU SE bin and then we open the DFU SE Demo Exe. If we open this, this window appears and you see that it already found an available DFU device, which is our flight controller. In the next step, we open the DFU file manager, which, in the, which is in the same folder. If we open this one, we get this window. And here we have two options and we want to choose um, to generate a DFU file from hex file. So actually, we are downloading a hex file and generating from the hex file a new DFU file. Okay, so we want to do this. Then this window appears. You don't need to set anything. Just simply go to hex file. Choose the hex file you have downloaded. Open it and say generate. And now you can give the DFU file a name, for example, race flight, race flight, Ravo, and save it. Oh, yeah, I already have uh, generated this file, so say yes. That was successful. Now we can close the DFU file manager and go back into the DFU SE demo. Here we have the option to upgrade or verify action and here we want to choose our generated DFU file. We open it and then we simply say upgrade. We agree 
And now the flight controller is uh, getting updated with the uh, race flight. Um, this takes a couple of seconds. And well, it was successful. Now we can um, close this window and we can disconnect our flight controller from the computer and then re directly reconnect it. And now we can see again that our flight controller is connected to COM port. It's again COM port 16. And in the very last step we can connect our flight controller to the race flight configurator. So we just say connect. And here we go. We successfully flashed the latest version of race flight onto the F4 Ravo clone. As I said, the same procedure works as well for beta flight or clean flight. I have only tested it with uh, this board and two other SP Racing F3 boards and beta flight. So, well guys, I'm hoping that I could help you with flashing your flight controller and thanks for watching. See you soon.